A lot of us jumped into Infinite yesterday for the first time ever. Early release, huge surprise, although not really because it kind of leaked three days earlier, but we'll ignore that. And the first thing a lot of us did is to get the Battle Pass. Despite the fact that it's free, there's a huge amount of really cool stuff in the Battle Pass, or at least I think so, and so I wanted to pick it up. Now, I opted for the premium version of the Battle Pass, which was slightly more expensive and just gives you the first 25 tiers. Reason being, I wanted to show off some customization on stream, and so I figured, well, I might as well just do a little bit of tier skipping, but then leave most of the Battle Pass for me to grind through and progress through naturally. Got my stuff unlocked, jumped into game, all good. I played yesterday for like six or seven hours. I was streaming for pretty much the whole time. I had a blast with the game. It was amazing. But in that time, in the battle pass, I only managed to go from tier 25 to tier 27. I then played a little bit this morning, a little bit later, and I got from 27 to 28. But still, it's really damn slow. And yesterday, despite the fact that this is like the first Halo game in six years, it's a huge celebration. Everyone's so excited for a new Halo. The Halo Infinite subreddit was full of of posts about the battle pass. Not clips of people doing cool stuff. There were one or two of those. Not people finding like cool Easter eggs. Not people being amazed by the sandbox and the vehicles and all sorts. No, it was just loads of posts about, yeah, the progression system just doesn't do it for me, man. And I'm coming at this from the perspective of a newer Halo player, okay? I'm not crazy familiar with the Halo franchise. I didn't play it really loads back in the day. I've been working my way into the fold now and a lot of you guys in the Halo community have kind of embraced me with open arms, which has been very appreciated. But I am new to it and I do want to kind of chime in from a newer player's perspective and also try and make your voices heard as some of the hardcore guys who have been talking to me about this. So let's begin with what is the actual system right now? Well, you have battle pass challenges which grant you XP and you need XP from those challenges in order to level your pass up. It is a challenge-based system. So you don't get XP for getting loads of kills in games or winning the games necessarily, anything like that. It's not tied to the medals you're earning either. It's just about doing the specified challenges. And you'll have a select group of active challenges that are given time, and then you can also tab over and see what challenges you have coming up as well. The more challenges you do, the more you'll unlock higher XP challenges, like later on in the weekly challenges. And so the last ones all grant you like 300 XP, for example, where the first ones only will grant you 100. Then when you've completed all your weekly challenges, there's also an extra ultimate challenge that you can do every single week, and that just grants you a piece of gear or something. So in this case, as you can see, it's this visor, which looks pretty cool. Does look kind of similar to some of the other visors that are out there right now, I think, but I'm sure they'll throw in some really cool things as the season progresses for this ultimate challenge to get everyone really encouraged to do the weekly challenges. So is this a problem? Well, if you're playing Halo Infinite and you're wanting to just embrace the sandbox and use all of the different weapons and vehicles and play the different game types that you might stumble upon in that moment, and then you might want to switch your focus and move on to another weapon, and you're just sort of having fun with it and seeing what happens as the game plays out in front of you, then these challenges kind of suck. It means that if you want to get to that ultimate challenge in a week, you want to get through to some of the more high reward weekly challenges, you might have to get a load of kills with the Pulse Carbine. Or you might need to play a certain game type like Big Team Battle, for example, that you're just not really that keen on. There are also challenges for ranked, and if you don't want to play ranked, then you're kind of out of luck. So to some extent, it feels maybe restrictive would be the word, or maybe a better way to put it is prescriptive. It's actually directly telling you, you have to play this mode this way in order to get this XP, and there's no other way to do it. And so they're basically taking the sandboxy vibe and almost not making it a sandbox. They're making it a rush for everyone to grab the commando off the wall or something because that's what they need for their challenges or whatever the weapon might be. So I totally hear the argument that the Reddit is absolutely full of that it's kind of sucking a bit of the enjoyment out of the game for people because they want to get through the battle pass. They're looking forward to stuff at like tier 60, tier 70, tier 80. There is some really cool stuff later in there. I think Recon is actually in there like later on. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm pretty sure JC mentioned that it is there. So obviously long-term Halo fans are going to want that, but if you're at school or you've got a job and you maybe have a family to look after or you've just got stuff going on during your day, you can only afford to play like maybe an hour a day or less, or maybe you just play on the weekends or whatever it might be, there's no chance. There's just zero chance you're getting recon. Unless, of course, you buy the 200 credit tier skips and go all the way through to tier 100 just paying for it. So let's talk about that. This is a free multiplayer and the value proposition there 
is that they're going to offer some kind of cosmetic system and battle pass system, etc., in order to incentivize people to spend some money. But obviously, the actual base game, the base access is free. And it's an incredible value prop in this game. The fact that it's free is mind blowing to me. This is one of the best PvP games I've played in the last five, six, seven years. It's just genuinely so smooth and fluid. The combat loop feels really good right now. I'm having a blast with it. The ranked feels amazing. I really want to grind the ranked more. And so the game itself is incredible to get as a free offering. And so I can sympathize with 343 and I guess with Microsoft that they want people to spend some money on it because this game's cost what? Like 500 mil to make or something? It might even be more at this point. At one point that number was floated, but we might be like 750 or a bill right now. This has been an insanely expensive game to develop and they are going to need to recoup those costs. And yes, they can sell the campaign and many people will buy that no doubt, but are enough people going to buy it to recoup a billion dollars of costs? I don't know. So I sympathize that they want people to spend money, but I don't think this is necessarily the way to do it, man. The fact that so much of the Reddit really dislikes the system, the fact that people feel like they're excluded from getting to the stuff that they really want purely because it's going to be such a long grind to get there. I mean, if it's taken me six hours or so to go three levels, then let's say I complete all my other challenges. I go another six hours, right? And I maybe get mm, five tiers, let's say. Let's be generous because you're going to get more XP for the later ones. Then that's eight tiers over those 12 hours, but then you're out of weekly challenges. So I don't know if it's going to like reset and it's going to give you more challenges if you do complete completely exhaust your list at the end of a week, or if you're just going to have none left. And if you have none left, then you're not going to be able to do anything towards battle pass progression for the rest of the week, which is kind of ass, I'm going to be honest. But with all this said, I do want to say two things. One is that this is still like a beta, right? It's early access to the game. The proper release date of the game is going to be on the 8th, as was originally planned. So there's plenty of room here for them to make tweaks to this, to change it, and to make progression faster, to give us more XP from the challenges, or to just make it so that it's kind of tied to the things that you do in the game naturally anyway, potentially. Maybe even if there were just more challenges, so that if you were the sort of person that really loved the commando, then yeah, you could go through an entire progression tree and use the commando. But if you wanted as is your right as a player in the sandbox, to just use the plasma pistol for everything, then maybe there'd be a pathway and a tree there that would still allow you to get XP from doing that and playing your way, being your own Spartan, without having to be forced and prescribed into a certain playstyle, certain objectives, etc. But another thing that I do want to point out here, just as a kind of counterpoint, is that as a new player, I don't actually hate the idea of there being challenges in the game like this for you doing certain things. I do think, like I said, more breadth would be really amazing so that you could choose your own playstyle. but I don't hate the idea of challenges. And I have seen some people saying a challenge-based system is just terrible. I think that a challenge-based system works if it's complemented by other aspects of the game that also allow you to get through that battle pass. But in an exclusive environment, the challenge system does fall flat. I just wanted to make that very clear. I also think the system they had with the challenges back in the day of, let's say like Modern Warfare 2, okay? Where you could get a bunch of emblems and calling cards for doing certain things. I used to love grinding that back in the day when I was younger. I just had a really good time with it. And I think that in this game, if they did have a system like that, where there was a huge library of challenges that you could do and work through them all, that could be really fun, again, as supplementation to all of the other stuff going on. And the final thing I'll say here is that I really think the challenges need to feel more epic when you do them in-game. Right now, you only know you've done a challenge when the match ends and it says, oh, you got 100 XP. It doesn't even say which challenge you did. You have to go into the battle pass to try and figure out which one it was that you completed. So having some kind of challenge tracking in the game itself so you can quickly refer to it would be really important, like actually in the match. And then also, when you complete one, you should get a big thing on your screen, like some kind of medal that says challenge complete, XP rewarded or whatever, just so that you feel like you've actually done it because there's no feeling of reward or satisfaction action right now. I think medals in Halo are incredible. I love the medal system. I've always thought that was so damn cool and it feels amazing getting them, especially when it's like one of the ones that shows up in the chat in the bottom left as well. Like that feels so good. Give us something like that. Just some kind of little ticker. Even if it's just when you press tab and it's on your scoreboard, there's like a thing that shows you if you've completed a challenge in that match. Something like that I think would be really good. So let me know, do you hate the battle pass system? Do you think it needs a total revamp or are you kind of having fun with it? Let me know in the comments down below and 
Oh my god, I just made like a Halo commentary. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in more Halo videos on my channel. I'm also just real quick thinking of making a channel that's going to be called like Milo Halo or something and putting all my Halo content on there instead of mixing zombies and Halo on this channel. Let me know what you think of that in the comments down below. And hey, by the time I upload this video, I might have already made the channel. If you search Milo Halo, it might be there. So thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like if you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.